Now, an all-flash data center built using NVMe and PCIe technologies will clearly be more cost-effective and efficient than data centers built around older SCSI technologies. Well, one of the interesting technologies that NVMe enables is the rise of memory-driven infrastructure. So emerging persistent memory technologies provide another performance and cost tier that's between DRAM and NAND flash SSDs, giving customers additional flexibility in configuring the needed performance into their all-flash data centers very cost-effectively. Now, this memory-driven infrastructure, based on media types like Intel's 3D Crosspoint, come in both byte and block-addressable storage devices. Persistent memory is a byte-addressable device, while storage class memory is a block-addressable device. These devices deliver much better performance than NAND flash-based SSDs at a slightly higher price. And persistent memory is, in fact, faster than storage class memory and slightly more expensive. The key features that differentiate these new memory-driven technologies are from DRAM are, number one, their persistence, their persistent media, and also the higher capacities than they provide in DRAM. So online transaction processing databases and other real-time workloads, particularly in the artificial intelligence space, can benefit significantly from memory-driven infrastructure. And this infrastructure will be attached using NVMe and PCIe and or NVMe over Fabric's storage networks. Now, one of the interesting aspects of memory-driven infrastructure is that for very low latency workloads, it can enable a much smaller back-end persistent storage infrastructure. That's because you need fewer devices to meet your IOPS throughput and other performance-related requirements. And that's a factor that can help drive costs even lower in the all-flash data center. 